Revit 2026 is finally here and it's packed with new features. In this video, we'll walk you through the top 10 upgrades that will save you time, reduce errors, and help you focus more on design. If you use Revit daily, these updates aren't just nice to haves, they're game changers. Let's get into it. First up, Accelerated Revit Graphics, or ARG, a feature Autodesk says could give you up to 5x faster navigation. Sounds great, right? Especially if you're working on complex models. But here's the catch. It only works if you've got a powerful GPU. And even then, well, it's still in development. Say goodbye to manually aligning views on sheets. With automated view placement, you can now save and reuse view positions. It's a massive time saver, especially for large projects. This is the kind of smart automation Revit users have been asking for, and finally, it delivers. Ever get annoyed by the generic, as indicated, on title blocks? Now you can override that with custom text. It's small, but mighty. This kind of detail makes documentation clearer and more professional. Finally, you can now set layer priority independently of function. That means better joins and wraps without weird workarounds. You can now select a priority level ranging from 1 to 5 using an intuitive drop-down menu. The selected priority determines the order in which layers are considered during join operations, ensuring that more critical or structural layers are treated with the precedence they deserve. This gives you the control you've been missing for years. The subdivide height parameter is now renamed to subdivide offset, allowing positive, zero, and negative values. So you can place subdivisions above, level with, or below the host topper solid. Now you can assign different topper solid types to each subdivision, making it easier to differentiate materials or design intent. This also improves how you model overlapping areas and capture complex site geometry with accurate volume data. Compound elements without core layers removes the need for a designated core in walls, floors, ceilings, and roofs, allowing architects to delete or reposition layers freely. This flexibility improves joins, finish visibility, and coordination. Core-based dimensions are automatically cleared when the core is empty, keeping documentation clean and enabling more creative, precise detailing. Say goodbye to unnecessary constraints and hello to better coordination. Revit now handles linked topper solid models with greater accuracy. Perfect for collaboration with civil engineers and external teams. Less cleanup, more trust in your linked files. Revit 2026 brings a small but mighty improvement for your documentation workflow. In Revit 2025, your sheet list couldn't include basic info like scale or sheet size from the title block. But in Revit 2026, that changes. Now you can add scale, sheet width, and sheet height directly into your sheet list. Even better, you can pull in fields from title block categories, helping you check if every sheet uses the correct title block. This is a simple yet powerful way to improve quality control and ensure consistency across your entire set. Now, shared parameters can be added and edited within these family labels just like other categories. When a shared parameter is applied to the Project Parameter Views category, its value automatically appears in the corresponding view object. For view references, parameter values from the selected target view are displayed, ensuring accuracy and consistency. This functionality also integrates shared parameters into view list schedules, offering greater flexibility in managing project data. Revit 2026 introduces an enhanced Manage Links feature, making managing imported CAD files easier than ever. Now located in the new Manage panel, the Manage Links button is accessible for both projects and families, giving you a more organized and streamlined workflow. Imported CAD formats like DWG, DXF, and SKP are now displayed alongside linked files with clear status and reference type properties. Managing these files is simple. You can quickly locate and remove any imported CAD file with just a few clicks. So, what does all this mean for you? Better coordination across architecture, structure, and ed. Less manual work, more automation. Smarter documentation for QA slash QC reviews. Which feature are you most excited about? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's talk BIM.